Hey guys, you just let us know that the Birds of Prey trailer has just released from DC. Joe is working from home, so I got Alex with me. We're gonna watch this together and check it out. Oh boy. I don't <laughs> Oh boy. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Do you know what a harlequin is? A harlequin's role is to serve. Yeah, harlequin. <laughs> No one gives two shits. Oh, and we are beyond that. Damn, she looking rough. Yeah. I talk over it because DC and yeah. Warner Brothers love to Joker copyright my stuff. Up. Ooh, oh. broken up with Joker. Fresh start. But it turns out I wasn't the only. The hell is that? Canary. Emancipation. That is not Canary. Is that supposed to be Huntress? Not spectacular news. Hello there. Uin. She brought me. McGregor! Oh, oh I love the hyenas! Yeah. She's got her hyenas! And a, <laughs> and a branded shirt with her name on it. What the? Here's the deal, Quinn. You need me! What? <laughs> oh. Doing her best, uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Is that Zaz? There's the all female. Superhero team. Rosie Perez. Yeah. <laughs> I like her from previous ah. It's just like the sleepover. <gasps> we should order pizza. Big cousins. Harley, focus. Okay. Hmm. Slow mo. I'm the one they should be scared of. Colorful. And. At least she said Mr. <laughs> J right this time. How'd you say it wrong? In uh, Suicide Squad, it didn't sound good. All right, martial arts. Whoa, Harley going crazy. This is a movie that has that weird ass long name. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation yeah, of One. You could never call a woman a chick. I'll accept broad lady woman, but on occasion, bitch. Bitch? What are you talking about? Bitch. Ooh, she said. She said bitch. <sighs> okay, uh, no, <laughs> uh, wacky, wacky yeah. as hell. Um, I don't know. Um, looks pretty pedestrian in terms of uh, a superhero kind of film. This, I guess, is more like a, I don't know, female empowerment, girl power thing, I guess. I didn't really see, well, I guess. Well, it's not really fair to say because Harley Quinn doesn't have any powers. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we'll see some good action sequences, but I don't know. It just kind of seemed really pedestrian. Uh, do I want to watch Harley Quinn's fallout from breaking up with Joker? Not really, but I do love Margot Robbie. She's a great actress, so I'm mm -hmm. sure she's going to be super electric on screen. Plus, Ewan McGregor's in this, and he's yes. amazing. Ewan McGregor, you got me in the seat, all right? There's no doubt you got me in the seat, but my anticipation for it, my hype for it, is literally zero. Well, that's because you've been hurt before. And that might actually work out in, in this film's favor. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like Suicide Squad. I'm one of the only people on the planet that, that enjoyed Suicide Squad for, you know, being what it was, a dumb action flick that handled, you know, 15 characters at once. And uh, this one kind of is reminding me of that. It's not directed by the same person, I don't think. So uh, I guess, but, but it looks like it's in that territory. So let's go through it together. Uh, I have no idea who this is. I like, think it's supposed to be Black Canary. Okay, it doesn't look at all like Black Canary. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that is that who's Black Canary? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're changing Black Canary, um, and here's Harley Quinn. Just I guess she's fucking pissed after this breakup with Joker. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see. You know, <laughs> is Joker gonna be in the film at all? You know, maybe not. in like a five second scene where he's like, "We're done, Harley," or something like that. Or Jared Leto's not in the film at all because they didn't. He didn't even want to dress up in the makeup. Wants nothing to do with the role. Even though I think afterwards, even he, though he was upset, he said he still wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I'm I'm interested to see whether we're gonna see Joker in a flashback. I know he's not gonna be in the film, but will we get a tiny cameo of their breakup? But I hope not. quite clearly. She is pissed, and she's done with the Joker. <laughs> yeah. So you're happy about that, right? Yeah. It's actually a pretty good character. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Um, and so she becomes her own thing, and which is cool. You know, I really liked this from you know the Batman uh, comics and and even the animated series and some films where Harley kind of helps Batman because she's like kind of pissed at Joker and stuff, and she's her own thing, and she becomes an anti-hero instead of just you know a villain. So I mean, mm -hmm. we've seen that before in Suicide Squad. We're gonna get more of it here, um, and it's just. How well is the dialogue written? How interesting is the story? Mm -hmm. I don't really like the changes to Canary. Uh, I can't really tell because obviously I don't think she's wearing her actual Canary outfit. I mean, hopefully that's not it. Um, but does she have the same powers this Canary has in uh, DC? Or is it just that she's a singer who's a good kung fu fighter? I'm going to be really disappointed. Yeah, I mean, I would... I wouldn't be opposed to like an unpowered team up movie if they're trying to go, you know, re like realistic. I would be opposed to messing around with the Canary character, but I guess whatever, mm -hmm. fine. If you want to do a more realistic one, then maybe she discovers her powers later. Um, we've got Rosie Perez, who is a great actress, and mm -hmm. she plays, I guess, uh, Renee. Uh, what's her name? Montoya. Montoya. And she is basically, you know, she's been like kind of a detective kind of thing on the outside of God, you know, doing Gotham stuff with Batman. And I think eventually there's a character called The Question who is awesome. And then she takes up, I think, The Question's uh, persona in the comics later on. So this is a relatively new character to me. I'm more familiar with that fat guy that helps Batman all the time, the, like, sergeant or whatever, uh, the lieutenant um, who helps Jim Gordon. So we'll see what she can put up with. But what's interesting is you it's a vigilante team, right? Mm -hmm. But yet they're teaming up with uh, law enforcement, well, a girl in law enforcement. Packing up the desk, but we'll, oh. we'll see. <laughs> right away. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so I guess not technically law enforcement anymore, but she still has that, you know, spirit that she wants to do right, and so she becomes a vigilante herself? Maybe. Um, the biggest disappointment, I think, so far for me is Huntress. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really hope that they don't just go with black leather, you know, just like, well, just the standard kind of black leather look without her actual costume. Uh, if she's already been in the world doing her own thing, then she should already have, like, a little costume. Remember, this is in the same world with Batman. Mm -hmm. This is in the same world with Superman. There are costume superheroes. Um, but they're probably approaching the Birds of Prey uh, movie as a origin story. Yeah. Right? To where at the end you get that final shot of all the girls in their full outfits as you know them walking. <laughs> right so it's it's difficult to complain about crappy costumes especially from um you know just the trailer uh what do you think about harley's new look she got rid of wow. her little daddy daddy's little girl and she went with a like a pink tank top and a <laughs> streamers and whatever the hell else pom-poms i don't know yeah uh that's that's what i think uh, her new look she, she's got it perfectly now what about him uh, he's a bad guy, you can tell, because he's got all these people's women looks like <laughs> strung up. Is there also fish being? Yeah, there's giant tuna back there. <laughs> so, so he seems to already be in charge of yeah. an underground criminal empire. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, my God, the fucked up black mask. Give give Ewan McGregor a chance, man. This guy's a great actor. So, yes, he, does, he's, he's, he doesn't have an actual black mask on him, but I guess I'm... Guaranteeing you this is his origin story, he's, too. He's, he does a good job, but, I mean, didn't Jared Leto also have won an Oscar before he ruined the Joker? That's true. That's so true. It's like so he didn't write this movie. Yeah, I mean, he's but gonna somebody kill it. like Black Mask, nobody gives a fuck whether he <laughs> yeah. fucks it up or does his own interpretation. The Joker is a little different. I yeah. think you agree. Yeah. All right, so we're going over to the hyenas. Now, this is cool. I, she's this, in a I like this. She's in a pet shop. She's clearly in some <laughs> sort of pet shop, and then she's like, I'm going to buy this hyena. I'm but, disappointed there's not two. Yeah, me too, because originally it's Bud and Lou from the animated series, from the comics, and from even, uh, you Injustice. know, Nether Realms, Injustice. Mm -hmm. 
And it just sucks that it looks like there's only going to be one. Now, uh, at the end of the film, here's another one of these. Yeah. At the end of the film, is he going to get a friend to keep him company? And, and who are we looking at here? Does she name him something different? I found really annoying that Captain Marvel renamed the cat uh, because I thought Chewie was just a perfect cat name, and they renamed it to Goose, and I was like, whatever. So I don't know how they're going to do the hyenas uh, here, but definitely we're going to see some hyena action. Mm -hmm. She's going to sick the hyena on either the black mask and have him chew his face off, yeah, oh, and that's how he gets his I mask. want them to do exactly what they do in Injustice, and <laughs> just mangle people, bite him in the crotch, everything will be great. <laughs> so we'll see on that, but that's really cool. Um, yeah. So uh, looking at the plot, is this the, the girl that was in her car at the end? Is that maybe how uh, Harley Quinn gets involved in this? Um is saving her friends. I could just be just saving random women. I yeah. didn't recognize. So this supposedly we looked it up is Zaz. Yeah, Victor Zaz. Now for Victor Zaz, now some of you know he's a great villain from the Batman Rogues Gallery. Batman has some of the best, most interesting villains. Uh, so uh, again, but he's kind of B team, C team. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know uh, about him. So he has some leeway here and how he's portrayed. Again, by the end of the film, he's probably going to look a lot more like uh, how he's supposed to. But I don't know. The animal looks good. Looks good. CGI, obviously. Yeah. Harley Quinn um, <laughs> makes her own shirts now, I guess. She's starting her own fashion company. So am I going to be seeing a lot of women walking down the street That'll after be this the, film comes yeah, that, out? Yeah, that's going to be the most worn Halloween <laughs> costume next year. Next year. <laughs> Okay, so we got our gunplay. We've got, and it looks rather brutal. Uh, I think this is the a scene with the Huntress. Is this rated R? Mm, good question. Do we know? I mean, because I, I I liked some of the violence that we saw, where she the guy's got his legs up and she jumps on his knees. And if they really pick up and deliver on the action, then this could be pretty good. Yeah, it's. Uh, let's see. Um, rated R. Rated first, the yeah. So that's that's a good thing. I'm hoping that it's rated R, not it's because it's expected to be the first theatrically released R film. So uh, I was just about to say how brutal this scene is. Huntress just comes in here and she's point blank range. She's just lighting them up. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know how the fuck she survives because he's already firing back at her. She ducks. See. Oh, but oh, she she's got terrible aim. What is this? The Huntress and she's fucking up. It looks like the Huntress. That's terrible. Okay. He's having a little bit of a breakdown. He's having a breakdown. Maybe we'll get sort of a complex. I'm standing next to a, a, the black, see the black mask kind of next to him. That's kind of Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Visual. Foreshadowing <laughs> Foreshadowing. Man, she looks crazy. She looks like her own little joker. Yeah. That's, that's good. And then she does her own little... Man. Marilyn Monroe scene. Mm -hmm. I'm down for that. Let's see. Uh, oh, she doesn't need the shirt anymore. She's got the daddy's little, little girl monster on, yeah. on her, tattooed on her. Uh, Zaz again. <laughs> Cut. Messed up. What is this? That was they're walking out of the funhouse looking thing where they walked oh, into someone's the, the mouth okay. earlier. All right. See, oh, my God. And this looks fucking awful. This is just Maybe they awful. didn't have a time to like costume make costumes. Costume design in this film is so awful. I mean, I would be a lot more excited if they looked like their original versions in the comic, and I'd be like, fuck yeah, girl power, let's fucking do it. There goes my fucking vodka, but I already drank it. So I'd be like, yeah. But this, I don't know. That all goes with the realistic take that you think that they're doing. I think they're trying to go realistic. And this this little jumpsuit, I don't know. That just looks awful, doesn't it? Yeah. If that's supposed to be... Okay, here's how we'll excuse it. I'm trying to give the film the benefit of the doubt. This is them on their off day, right? They're, 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 nobody, this is just in between. You think that's what Black Canary wears this, on her off day? Yeah, that's just like, that's what, the lounging around pants? Yeah, this like, is a Black Canary, and then this is Huntress, and that's what they wear on their off day. It's terrible, terrible, terrible costume design. By the end of the film, please fix this. Fix this sick filth. It's done. Fix this sick filth. It's done already. <laughs> peeps. I love peeps. Oh, you're right. It's done. <laughs> it's going to be that. Oh, But I'm interested. I am interested in the film. We'll see. 
Uh, that was the scene where she actually sounded like the uh, the original Batman the Animated Series when she says Mr. J, which mm-hmm. was something that a lot of people were really upset about. Mr. J. Okay, perfect. Not Mr. J. Because I'm J. You. Not Mr. J. I thought she always talked like that. I guess I'm just getting everybody mixed up. Yeah. All right, so they're doing their slow-mo action scene. So I guess we will get some, some action after all. All right, guys. Um... <sighs> Margot Robbie, Ewan McGregor. These are the reasons to go see the film. That's not the Huntress. That's not Black Canary. I don't care who the other characters are. Um, And it's an R-rated film, so I think that already has a little bit of an advantage Mm -hmm. over other, uh, you know, you know, kind of DC properties because they can hopefully they actually utilize that, use it, you know. Not not just have it be a gimmick, but if you if you're gonna do it, then do it. For I'm gonna long. be really disappointed if they just wanted to curse like three times instead right. of one time, and it's not violent the way it should right. be. And if it's violent the way it should be, then we'll be down and we will enjoy it. Uh, but I hope so. we'll see. Is this the direction? Uh, can DC continue uh, their turnaround, their success? Can uh, can they shake the? Uh, a bad perception of previous films like, you know, Batman v Superman and (gasps) Suicide Squad and things like that. We'll see. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.